Today, I'll be showing you how to make your film look like 80s VHS. Today's video tutorial will be rated 3 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. Also, I'd like to mention that today's tutorial was requested in the comments by two people on my last video. So if you do have any suggestions for videos for me to make, then just let me know in the comments and I might be able to make a video on it for you. So we're going to start off this tutorial with the basis of the VHS look, and that's this colour splitting chromatic aberration look. You'll notice in VHS videos that there's always this colour fringing around the edges of objects. We're going to recreate this in heat film by first splitting our video up into its separate colour channels. So once you've got your clip in your composite shot, which I do have here, then you're going to want to apply the levels histogram effect. Go into the effects panel, search up for it, and just apply it to your clip. Then go into the properties, and then under the different channels, select the red channel. Under the red output white, turn it down from 1 all the way to 0. This will remove any red from the image. Then go to the green and do the same for this channel. Now we have a completely blue image. We're going to have to repeat this process a couple of times, but for different color channels. So I'm just going to select the layer and duplicate it with Command D or Control D on a PC. It puts the new layer below. I'm just going to open up the first layer again, and I'm just going to reset the levels histogram. I'm going to go once again into the red and remove all the red. And then I'm also going to go now into the blue and remove all the blue. And we have a green layer. Duplicate it again in the top layer, right click, reset. Then remove green and remove all of your blue. Now we have a red one. To put these all back together, just select all of these clips by clicking on the top one, then holding shift and clicking on the bottom one or you can just hit Command A to select all of your layers or Control A on a PC and then just go right click, blend, add and that'll add all the color channels back up together. Now we can adjust the color channels individually to one another. So to show you what I mean, if we select this clip here and we just move it, you'll notice how it creates this really cool color effect. A lot of people decide to split up their color channels by scaling them differently. To show you what I mean, if the bottom one is at 100% scale, we can select the middle one to be 102% scale, and then the top one to be 104% scale. And that'll give us this constant, nice chromatic aberration look. However, I don't like scaling so much because there's less chromatic aberration in the middle, which is a little bit more realistic when you're talking about camera lenses and everything, but for the VHS look, I don't think it works that well. So I'm just going to Command Z everything. I'm just going to move this layer, 10 pixels. I'm just going to move the next layer, minus 10 pixels. Notice we get some color fringing on the sides, but that's okay because it kind of adds to the look and plus we'll be adding some letterboxing at the end anyway. If you think this effect is too extreme, which I actually think mine is right now, you can just go ahead and move it less. You can also move some of the layers up, so I might move this one up 5 pixels. That's the basic colour fringing, but to really create that VHS look, there's a couple of other things that we need to do. So create a new layer, a new grade layer. Grade layers are great because any effects that we apply to this layer will be applied to all the layers below it. On this layer, just search up for the grain effect. You can use noise if you want, but I think grain just looks a little bit nicer. Open up the grain and increase it a little bit to your liking. You can leave it on something like 30 to 35 like I have. Next, we're going to search up for the Derez effect. This effect was specifically created for Rocket Jump's video game high school series when characters in game die, and it's a really cool effect. But we can also use it to our advantage inside of HitFilm in our VHS effect. Just open it up, and then you'll notice that you'll see that this effect is made up of three parts. First of all, there's pixelation, then there's wavy lines, and then there's horizontal lines. Pixelation is this blocky stuff you see happening here. That's the first part of this effect. If you look at these wavy lines over here, these lines on the side of his face and down the bottom here, that's the wavy lines. And then the horizontal lines is just like the scan lines, and that's probably the most important part of the effect. If you want to go for a really subtle effect, like I am, 
then open up the pixelation, turn down the strength all the way so we don't get any of that, and then turn down the strength of the wavy lines, and we'll just get those horizontal lines. You can increase them if you want to increase that scan line kind of look. I'm going to set mine at about 70%. Now I think some of these other things look really cool as well. If you want to add wavy lines, you can do that, just make sure it's not very strong. And if you want to add pixelation, I would recommend that you increase the, the number of the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks so that the pixelation doesn't actually make it that much more pixelated. I won't use any pixelation for mine. Next I'm going to add some color adjustments and a letterbox. I'm going to do this on a separate grade layer just so that I can keep it separate. It's not really necessary, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Then I'm just going to search up for the curves effect and drag that onto my top grade layer. Opening up the effect, we can adjust this curve. If you don't know how the curves work, if you don't know how the curve effect works, basically this line represents the current image. If you move stuff down, then it'll become darker, and if you move stuff up, then it'll become brighter. Stuff closer to this end is the brighter parts of the image, and stuff closer to this end is the darker parts of the image. So if I lower darker parts of the image and raise or brighten the brighter parts of the image, I'll get contrast. I have other videos detailing the curves effect better, but that's a basic explanation. What I'm going to do with the curves effect right now is I'm just going to crush the blacks a bit so that we still have some detail and then lift the black level up. And then in the whites I'm going to do something very similar, except I'm going to move the white level even below the point, so it looks like they're kind of burnt out, crushed whites. This isn't a necessity, but I think it just works really well and really adds to that look. At this point I think some of my grain and derez is a little bit too much, so I'm just going to get rid of some of those scan lines and then reduce my amount of grain a little bit. Next I'm going to add a letterbox. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but if you want the true VHS look, then you're going to have to add the letterbox and add a 4x3 aspect ratio, because this is the aspect ratio that most stuff in that day was filmed in, and that's the aspect ratio that VHS was in. Something that I'm going to do, however, which is pretty cool, is add the letterbox to each of the individual layers down here. So I'm just going to press Command X on my Mac, or Control X on a PC, to copy that letterbox effect, then highlight and shift click to select these three, and then just press Command V on my Mac or Control V on a PC. And that way we still get some of this color fringing around the edges. This is just a personal taste and it may not be for everyone. Plus when we have the letterbox like this, we still have the lifted black level and all of our noise and stuff is still applied. Next I'm going to add some text as a time code in the bottom right hand corner. I'll go New Layer, Text, and just add my text. I'm using a font which I got off defont.com and I'll leave a link in the description. It's VCR OSD Mono, as you can see here. I'm just going to grab my text, make sure it's sized properly, and then just move it into place. I'm then going to move the text below the two grey layers. This is that it still looks like it's part of that VHS image. Finally, I'm going to add one effect that will really bring this thing together. Add a new layer, a new grey layer, I'm going to rename this one to Lens Distort. This is also a very optional effect. I'm just going to drag this down below my other two grade layers, and just drag the Action Cam Lens Distort on top. Under the controls, I'm just going to increase the field of view, just a little bit, very subtle, and then I'm going to select the Scale Anchor to be Height. It kind of reminds me of this cathode ray TV shape. I don't know whether that's actually a really realistic thing to do, but I think it works out quite nice. You'll notice that, that we have these transparent areas over on the left and the right and somewhere around the top because it's been pulled in. So just grab a new layer, a new plane layer, make it a black plane layer, just drag that above the Action Cam Lens Distort layer, and then in the layer properties select the blend mode to be lightened. That will fill in the gaps for us. And that's my final effect. Of course, you can go for much heavier versions, different versions, mess around with these effects a lot because it's actually quite fun to do. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to leave a like on the video, it helps me out a lot. You can share this with your friends and anyone else that might find this helpful. And of course, subscribe for more content just like this. I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.